often good to start meditation with thoughts of goodwill, because it's because of goodwill that we practice. Goodwill for ourselves, goodwill for other people. We remind ourselves that we have to live carefully in this world, because if we're not careful, we can cause a lot of harm. We have to be careful about how we look for our happiness. We want to make sure our happiness doesn't harm anybody. Because everybody wants happiness, one kind or another. But often people are irresponsible about how they look for it. They don't care about what happens to other people or what happens to themselves sometimes as a result of the pleasures. They just go for the pleasure. It's like those mice they experimented with one time. They found the pleasure center in the brain and they put a little electrode in there. And then all the mice had to do was put a little, there was a little metal plate on the top of their heads, and they could stick it against a a bar that would give them a little jolt of electricity, which felt really nice. And they just sat there. They just were getting that jolt of electricity, and, and they wouldn't eat, and they wouldn't do it, and they ended up dying just because they were so stuck on their pleasure. So we have to learn how to be responsible. Look, take our minds off that little jolt of pleasure and look around. When we have pleasure, what effect is it having on us? What effect is it having on other people? Because a major part of wisdom is seeing that there is such a thing as long-term happiness that doesn't cause any harm, and it's better than the short-term happiness that does cause harm. Although well, it may require an effort, that's where it gets hard. You have to be able to talk yourself into doing what's wise in the long run and saying no to some immediate pleasures right now. But it is for the sake of happiness. And we practice concentration to get a sense of ease so that we can make those sacrifices, that we can delay our gratification, give us some sense of well-being right now, so the mind isn't starved and it doesn't get to the point where it's going to eat anything just to have some pleasure. Like the coyotes here in the monastery. During the winter when there's nothing for them to eat from coming down from the trees, they'll eat anything. Plastic rope sometimes. And it's the same with us. Sometimes we we don't get our normal pleasures from outside. We'll just go for anything at all. Well, the Buddha is teaching you: here's something good: pleasure of meditation, the pleasure of concentration. This can give you a good place to stay. And this way, you're in a position where you can be responsible about your happiness, both for your own sake and for the sake of others. <laughs>